All right. Um, how did you feel when you first found out? Um, when I first found out, I, I like kind of screamed because I didn't. Thinking about Kayla and her being gone, it just didn't seem like something that I wanted to believe. I thought it was a joke. I had to ask a friend. I was like, "Is this true?" Like, and she said, "Yeah, unfortunately." And that whole day was just. I didn't know what to do with myself, basically. Every night, the sun sets, and every morning, the sun rises. I believe this to be true until January 28th, 2017. My sunshine was gone. What went wrong? A Maryland star student dies unexpectedly, leaving family and friends heartbroken. Kayla literally was the sunshine. Like. When everyone says that Kate loses the sunshine, it's, it's the truth. There are certain students and certain people you come across in a lifetime that are very unique. Kayla Lynn was one of those people. Kayla was an energetic and joyful person. I, um, my favorite thing about her was how she could always make the best of every situation. and. Um, she was always happy, and it almost didn't feel real at first. Kayla passed after four days with the flu. That's what makes this so crazy. People get the flu all the time. I would never imagine of hearing a friend pass of the flu. Kayla could be in a hospital with a broken leg and see you walking with a band-aid on your finger and be worried about you. Like, Kayla literally just lit up everyone's life and every room that she walked into. Gave Kayla one compliment and it all went to her head. <laughs> when I found out, I was devastated. When I first found out about Kayla, I was in complete shock. I, I didn't want to believe it. I, I thought it was some sick joke, some prank, but it turned out to be a terrible nightmare. One of my greatest memories of Kayla is in middle school, I'd always be sitting at a lunch table by myself, just being the loner that I was and she would always rush right to that table, sit down, hug me, and just talk to me. She was probably one of my greatest friends. Kayla's my best friend. Uh, I think she was the closest person I had, and we did everything together. I could tell her anything, and I trusted her with everything. I found out I didn't believe it for the longest time, and then when I realized it was true, it's like devastated and just didn't know what to do with myself. When I first found out about Kayla passing, there was like a sure shock, like I didn't believe it. And I let it process for a little bit until it actually hit me. I think it's awesome. It, it, it warms my heart, it makes me smile to see everybody coming together for her. It shows that she's much loved. Uh, when I first found out about Kayla, um, I didn't know what to do. It was a whole lot of emotions at once. They all wanted to come out. It was uh, truly the most heartbreaking thing I've ever went through. Kayla was the most amazing person I ever met. She always told me how proud she was of me. She, she was just so amazing, good at everything she did. She helped me out so much. I've had the pleasure of knowing Kayla for two years, and in those two years, we felt more alive than we ever have. Kayla was never far from me on bus rides and games during field hockey and adventures with our friends. This year, she left me this note that said, Kayla Linton is my favorite person in the whole wide world, and I love her so much, Potter. And I did, and she knew it. Um, it was a joke, obviously, but that's how I felt about her. Kayla Linton was different from so many kids at Lansdowne High School. She was a student athlete on the lacrosse, indoor track, and field hockey teams, an honor student with a solid GPA. She had been accepted to St. Andrews University with a $24,000 per year scholarship. She was organized, well-rounded, and encouraging, the type of kid who took notes for you if you were absent. She, without a doubt, was one of the best things that's ever happened to me, both socially, mentally, emotionally. K 
Kayla was like the best person. Like we could literally say one word to each other and we'd be cracking up laughing. I was with Kayla for, I'd say about eight months before she passed away. I was always there waiting for her, you know, to come home from work and come home for practice. You know, I'd always bring her food. I always bring her flowers when she was sick or, or just randomly bringing her flowers to make her smile. I mean, Kayla was um, the most caring, sweetest person you could ever imagine. Um, she got along with everybody. She made friends with everybody. Uh, she didn't have any enemies. Her legacy from this is the fact that all of her classmates now, when they say bye to each other, it's not just bye, it's bye with a hug. It's bye with I love you at the end. And I, as an educator here at Landstown, I've, ne I've never seen that before. We love you, and because of you, the sun will forever shine. <laughs> no. no! We create this tribute to honor Kayla's name. To signify the amazing person she was and the people she impacted. Whether it was writing my notes for me in class. Or writing my name down for me when I fell asleep. No matter big or small. Everything you did was extraordinary.